Checking things out like that. I was in the kitchen with mom and dad learning how to cook a little bit. And once in a while they let me go to the movies and I fell in love with them. And I found a movie I fell in love with this season. I think this movie is going to be around for Academy Award season. It's called The Sessions. Check this out. Is it possible for me to know a woman in the biblical sense? Are we talking about sexual intercourse? I think so. This therapist suggested I could work with a sex surrogate who would be sensitive to my unusual needs. In my heart, I feel like he'll give you a free pass on this one. Go for it. I am so glad I don't have to describe and explain this movie to you, and they just did it for you, because it's a little difficult to do sometimes on TV, but it is a terrific film. I expect to see nominations for William H. Macy, Helen Hunt, John Hawks. It is really good. So then I was talking to William H. Macy, a fun guy indeed, and we were talking a little bit about cooking, and this, is, was, this was his reply to my query. I can make a couple of things. My family decided that I have other skills other than cooking, but I can make beans bill, I can make beans bill, broccoli bill, I can make spinach bill. Uh, it's the same, really, the recipe. You take, uh, you blanch the beans, and you put too much oil in a skillet, and then too much garlic, and then brown it, dump it over, and then put too much salt. And that's beans bill. Pretty good, huh? Well, I, t I thought about this, and I thought, like, well, we got beans. He said broccoli. He said all these different vegetables. So I thought, why don't we just put them all together? And he talked about a bunch of oil. So I've got my vegetables there, and I've got some oil. I'm going to use peanut oil in this. Peanut oil because peanut oil can really stand up to some heat. Olive oil will start to burn on you too soon, so it's very difficult to stir fry in. So we're going to get that hot like this, and I'm going to take onions. He talked about some onions in there. And when you get the onions in there, you're just going to cook them up a little bit. Oh, look at that. We're making the stove nice and clean for Terry, who loves to clean it after these segments. We're going to soften that up a little bit. William H. Macy talks about making vegetables, right? Well, vegetables are a great side dish, but this dish you could also use for a main dish, especially vegetarians. But we're going to serve this over rice. And remember when I told you how to make rice, one cup of rice, one tablespoon of butter, a big pinch of salt, two cups of water, Bring it to a boil, cover it up, let it simmer for 20 minutes, and don't open it. I started that about 25 minutes ago, and I have not opened it, so I'm looking for some good things to happen. Okay, we talked about beans. We've got the garlic in there, I think, already. Yep. So we're going to put some beans. We're going to get the heat really hot now. Now, a lot of people would make something like this in a wok, but who has a wok, right? And the one thing about a wok that's interesting, it has a lot of surface, and that's why you use a wok. And surface means area to cook on. So instead, I opted for a wide fry pan, which is probably something more like most of you guys have at home. So that's what we're doing with this. We're going to put some broccoli in here now. And I think we're going to put some peppers in here. I've got some nice red peppers, yellow peppers, green peppers. Heat's hot. Going to town here. He talked about a bunch of salt. So what did I tell it? We're going to use soy sauce instead, low sodium, so we don't have a big, big sauce problem. Nobody wants a big sauce problem. No. I think the spirits would even like this. As a matter of fact, if I remember correctly, I was talking to Marianne last time she was on the show, and she's got a cookbook inspired by the spirits who talked to her. In fact, I think she's got an article in the Plain Dealer today talking about that a little bit. But that's not your cue to go run and get the Plain Dealer and read it right now. You're going to watch me do this, right? Okay. I got some oyster mushrooms. See how they come in a little group? Break them up. They not only taste good, they make your dish look cute. We're going to put in some zucchini. And when you put, put these in with your hand, make sure your hand doesn't hit the bottom of the pan, because that's not a good thing. It's just all cooking a little bit here. Now, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a little bit of chicken broth in here. It'll keep things, it'll stop things from sticking, and it'll also create a little steam. And steam is hotter than the pan itself. It, it sort of accelerates the cooking. So we're going to put that in there. Pea pods go sort of last because they cook the fastest. I'm going to put a little more chicken stock in there. And you know what I'm going to do to accelerate it even more since we have a short segment? I'm going to put a lid on That's going to make some steam. Now, the last thing that goes in is the onion, green onion. You take the rubber band off because if that gets under grandma's false teeth, she might not find it for a while. Okay, there you go. And chop these onions up about halfway. That way you get some good green in there. And we'll set that over there. Or pretend like you guys can't see it. Okay. 
Okay, it sounds, smells like it's working, huh? How's that look, kids? It's happening. I can smell it happening. I have confidence. Okay, we're going to keep that going like that. I'm going to cover this. I'm going to get rid of that. Time to plate the rice. Okay, this is the first time we looked at the rice. Remember, after you make the rice, don't look at it till it's time. And one more thing I want to tell you about. When I cut the onions, you know those, the way the onions looked? Cut the onion vertically like that, and that way you get those nice slices that come into like a bite-sized thing rather than eating onion rings. Because you don't need onion rings right now, right? Healthiest thing you've cooked. I know. This is it's good. It's good for us on our waistline. Beauty food. Yes. Whoops, we lost a couple of pea pods. Oh, okay, we're you're really good at that. Oh, I'm trying hard. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a little soy sauce in there, about a teaspoon and a half. Mm. And another thing that's really good, sesame seed oil. Check that out, toasted sesame seed oil. A Little bit of flavor there, it's gonna be extra special. In fact, just touch the top of that with your finger and get a little taste, taste of it. Taste it? Yeah, see how that is. Ooh. It's good, huh? Yeah. Let's see how this looks. Okay, I'm going to put the lid on this for a second. Here's our rice. Oh, yum. Now, if you let it sit, like I said, you go down there and look at it. Now, is it going to stick to the bottom? I'm betting not. Not if David's making it. See, look at that. What was the trick you gave again? You start it, 20 minutes. You get it boiling. You turn uh -huh. it down to a simmer, cover it, 20 minutes. Don't touch it. Turn okay. it off after 20 minutes, and then don't even open it for another 10 or 15. And it's not going to cool off. It's going to stay nice and beautiful and hot like that. Look how fluffy. Some people think cooking rice is extra hard, so they buy that pre-bagged and <laughs> you just put it in the microwave. Look how stupid simple Guilty. that is. I bought a bag of rice at Costco. It's yeah. as big as you for about That's big. About $8, $10 or something like that. So it lasts forever. It's cool. good. Oh. Okay, let's see what we got going here. Oh, one more thing I want to do this for oh. you. Is it spicy? Szechuan, spicy, Woo! a little bit hot, huh? Dump okay, so it in got, there. We're going to put about a teaspoon in there. Uh, we'll put two teaspoons in, right? <laughs> Doesn't matter what veggies you use, can you pick and you know what? Your own? When you when you cook the broccoli, what mm -hmm. I would do is I get the broccoli and cut it really thin because the stalks are the hardest thing to cook. They'll be a little crispier. Uh, you can use any vegetables you like. Okay. Spinach will cook really fast. The pea pods cook pretty fast. But the thing you have to watch is stuff like cauliflower, stuff like broccoli. It takes a little bit longer to cook. So when you taste this, oh, be on the I love safe all that side. Extra juice. Mm -hmm. I would taste. It does look pretty good, doesn't it? And you didn't put any meat in there. I didn't put any meat in it because he was talking about vegetables and I figured we were always doing meat here and people go, why don't you make something for the vegetarians? Okay, vegetarians, quit emailing there you me. Go. There it is. Today's your day. Here's your day. Let's put this in front of you. Is that a big enough helping for you today? I think so. I think that's Here's good. Here's a fork. Okay. And we're gonna we're gonna top it off with a little sesame seed to make it look even prettier. Ooh, yum. I got some black roasted and regular roasted sesame seed. Mm. 